character and huh. stock taker 69. All so right, so the hometown this, hero. Yeah, hometown hero. Uh, I know he plays a good amount of characters, but I know of his wolf mainly. Uh, very strong wolf player, um, at least in singles. We saw him playing a bunch of other characters in doubles. He will... So I'm running the presumption that Tweak is going to stay Joker as best as he can. Tweak is going solo Joker no matter what. Is that so? Correct. All right. Sorry for the spoilers, guys. All right. I feel like there was a safe enough assumption because yeah. we've seen just Joker every time he's been on stream. And right. we've put him on board for stream plenty of times today. Oh, yeah. Um, if um, if Stock Tiger manages to get his read properly, we're going to see Palutena versus Joker in this whole set. I don't okay. see Stock starting with Wolf. He might start with Wolf, but I don't see Wolf managing the rest of the set. Okay. Um, as for the other plethora of characters he has, I don't think that they would bring any merit to the matchup. We Fit versus Joker is very strange. It is Wolf who's going to be starting it off. Banjo and Villager both have a hard time with Joker. So if this Wolf goes anywhere, it's to replace Palutena. But it is Wolf versus Joker, Stock Taker versus Tweak. That's going to begin the winner side of our top eight tonight. Right, and of course, this is top eight, so it will be best of five here. And yeah, Tweak pretty much after Summit kind of decided he wants to give Joker like a serious try. I know when the character first came out around like Smash and Splash, he like dabbled with him and tried him out a little bit. He felt like he didn't really click with the character, but I feel like uh, he's liking the character a little bit more, kind of got a better feel for it. I think he has a lot of fun with uh, all the different ways you can use his specials, like his the gun and uh, side B. He likes wave bouncing it and be reversing all the stuff. So I Joker think he has, has a, a ton of options. Yes, and I feel is like, broken. <laughs> I feel like oh, like the plethora of tools that that Joker has, with or without Arsene, I actually feel like the character's a great fit for Tweak. I think he just needs bearings on how to utilize them and the different situations where he can mix them up. But falling guns, he's got to be a bit careful with, at the very least with Wolf, because Wolf does a good job of punishing falling guns. Basically, just being able to position himself properly, and then if he gets that Nair, he can get plenty off that Nair. Wow. But it's Tweak who's going to be breaking first blood. That's... I was just about to mention how great Stalktaker is doing of just stalling out the Arsene, that there's probably no way he's going to die from the Arsene. And, like, as I'm about to spit out the <laughs> statement, like, Tweak just comes in, and at the very last second gets the last up air in Arsene he needs off the ledge trap. What a play, and it puts him in the lead. Because that whole first dog, I felt like Stalktaker was in control. He was doing a good job of just mitigating any approach options that Tweak had. Like, he kept the damage up. But, like, it's once you have those awakened aerials that you're able to really put a dent into Wolf's game plan in general. Back air occupies so much space, you're able to approach with it very safely. And up air can scoop super well, kill fairly early. Ooh, and that and, will do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got to be careful of it. With any slow projectile-based character, where Wolf's Blaster usually has the the slower projectile being like a boon to its properties, uh -huh. here it gives Tweak so much opportunity to respond with the Rebel's Guard, and any free Rebellion meter is not something that you want. Ooh, wait. Oh, it doesn't go for the drop counter there, but gets the dash attack on the return. A full Rage Arsene. That might have been the smartest thing I've ever seen Stocktaker do. Yeah, that was really... Because he was lagging from the uh, counter. Yes. So that was really good. He used the invin the fact that he was invincible that, uh, you know, was able to punish that. Really, really great play from Stocktaker. Finally going to rip off that first stock from Tweak. But it's just so tough because Tweak got the value from both the Arsenes, right? When you get two Arsenes in a stock and they both got get a stock... Whew. Jeez, look at this damage. And when Arsene comes to play, man, he really makes it count. Oh, yeah. Like, Joker just decides to get ignorant as soon as Arsene comes out to play. Okay, Stalktaker gets something started here. I like the Nair and the Fair. Can he close out this Arsene? At least, at least, like, not even take the stock. Like, okay, there. Yeah. And, and th this is a very good position because with the percentage stock taker is given, he can pretty much take out, he should be able to take out the stock without getting the Arsene to come out. Okay, but how is he going to do it, though? Tweak is playing so well in terms of just really avoiding all of stock takers, like combo starters, or just wait, but we're going to get the back throw here. All right, this threatens for the play, but yep, Rebel's Guard comes out as soon as we see the blaster. Yeah, that, that's the one thing about this matchup. You got to be careful of how you blaster his wolf because you, you never want to just give him the free Arsene meter. On top of that, this is kind of a difficult matchup for you to try to, to uh, intercept Grappling Hook. 
You can't really drop zone there because... You can, but it's very risky. Yeah. Because they can just wait, too. Of course. But right now, I mean, I, I still see, like, soccer you can definitely still do this, but the back air on the ledge trap will close it out. But if he was able to get on stage, Wolf has so many of these combo stars, especially at 0%, with Rage or not. You know what I mean? You get right. that falling fair, you should cash out on about, like, 30 to 50 damage. From there, maybe go for a Rage down smash of some sorts. Like, I, I just feel like when you're Wolf and the stocks are even, no matter what the percentage is, there is still always some way to claw your way back into the game. Yeah, Wolf is one of those characters who I personally feel doesn't play the percentage game so much as he plays more of a neutral game in that, like, when he gets his one hit, he makes that count for big damage. Oh, right. So, like, you know if you're at that damage deficit, you can tie that back up. But Wolf is going to be hitting the bench for the time being. Paul, it's time coming out as predicted and probably for the remainder of the set. Yeah, Paul, uh, I, I personally think that Joker slightly wins this matchup, but, I mean, that doesn't... I, Paulu can definitely still win. So I know the, the general consensus is that Palutena takes it. Okay. But I agree with you. I, I just <laughs> feel like Paulu struggles with short characters, and when Joker dashes, he's a short character. Yes. So On top of that, a lot of his hitboxes are very precise, and he himself is a fairly lead character. So, like, he's able to avoid things ever so slightly, and that gives him a bit of an edge. On top of that, I feel like he doesn't have any trouble with edge guarding Palutena or avoiding any of her projectiles, as they're fairly slow in their own right. So Auto Reticle and Explosive Flame don't have as much stage presence as they would against the majority of the cast. Yeah, and just I, I feel like the way Tweak is generally playing this Joker for the most part of this tournament, it's a lot of like he will go for some risky-esque edge guards here and there, but for the most part, it's like I'm gonna poke out, try to cover high shoot the guns at you low, but I'm coming back on the stage because I, I value the ledge trap really hard, right? And it definitely looks like uh, Tweak is going more of that route. So the teleport recovery is kind of like, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of more ledge trap heavy anyway, so I don't really care. Because <laughs> he really didn't even gimp the wolf that much. Yeah, no. He just kind of like ledge trapped the wolf a lot. He dashed out of a grab range. All right, interesting option from Stock. Let's see if he can make it count. Managing to two-frame the wings of Rebellion. Yeah, that, that is uh, one of the big pluses of uh, switching over to the Politana. Very good at catching these two frames with that down tilt. Very uh, big, lingering hitboxes. Back throw, not going to quite do it. Not enough rage in the tank here for Politana. But That's the drop zone there. That's what we're going to see. Yeah, yeah. Drop zone there from Palu. Complete the opposite of Wolf's of drop Wolf's, zone. yes, yes. Because It this, lasts so long. Exactly. It's going to be lingering. It takes up such a large amount of space. Even if it doesn't kill, it's going to extend that play and rack up plenty of damage. Yeah, so definitely a uh, stock taker getting a little bit more edge guarding tools into his arsenal with the Politana here. And, and we see it pay dividends, right, in that very first stock. Right. And look at that, even <laughs> the lingering there managing to actually punish the Tweak's parry. Gotta love it. And I actually really like the combination of Wolf and Politana as uh, tournament characters because they they play kind of similar. Like, obviously, they're very different characters, but you're fishing for, like, falling fares, nares. Like, you, you kind of use the same, like, combo starters almost. Right. A lot of the, the thought process is there. It's just the the way that the tools can be applied is different, I would say. Right. And especially with Politana, where a lot of her tools help Oof. you with shutting down a lot of characters. Yeah. Because even Wolf and Paulu, they're both like very heavy on the two frame. You want to two frame with Wolf angle down forward tilt. You want to two frame with Palutena down tilt. Like they 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 play kind of similar in a lot of different situations. Right. Right now, tweak up a stock, but that Arsene is on its way out, and that's a really really a big break here for Stockbreaker. Uh, it's some even when Arsene's out in earlier percents, he's just so dangerous because like one up throw, double up air is like 50 damage. <laughs> a, you take a ton of ton of damage. Yeah, I feel like that damage output is starting to frustrate Stock Taker because even though he's trying to keep things even, it's so easy for Tweak to be able to build up that damage. And here we even see the AI camping. Snapping really, on him, man. It's really smart. Get that damage over time all the while establishing that ledge control. Yeah, and Tweak is definitely not a player, and he even shows this on his Twitter too. He's not afraid to camp you out. You know what I mean? This, this game is very defensive in a sense where like dashing back is very, very strong. And ooh, another up smash. And it, it, I felt like, obviously, the Wolf did better in terms of stock count. Um, but yeah, just Tweak really showing 
how good his personal ledge trapping is and like combining it with Joker's options, he's nailing a lot of these up smashes. He's getting a lot of these kills without Arsene, which is a very, very big deal. Um, of course, the best Joker in the world being Leo, I feel like that's probably the strongest thing about his Joker is that he does not really need the Arsene to take the stocks, right? Indeed. Wait, did we just get a crazy, oh. Yeah, we did. We Fit Trainer is here to play. Is it? Isn't We Fit Trainer like low key kind of outdated? Mm, not what about, about that outdated. What about Ring Fit? Ring Fit Trainer. Ring Fit? <laughs> Yo, Ring Fit brings the fire. <laughs> Definitely expecting DLC. Dude, but, if uh, that's the fifth slot, you know how much people would be mad? That, like, people I'd be would hyped. be. You would be hyped? I'd be hyped. That's such what? a random pick, yo. Oh, my God. There's so many other crazy characters. <laughs> oh, of course. But before we get the new school, we got the old school. All right, all right. We Fit Trader is probably, like, the hidden treat out of Stock Taker's entire roster. Because... Definitely the most unconventional pick we've seen so far, right? Politan yes. and Wolf, very uh, much more common within the top level of the metagame. But We Fit, definitely a character we saw Wadi kind of messing around with. Um, and... Uh, it's, uh, this character definitely has a lot of stuff. That deep breathing is very, very powerful. Like, the buff that she gets out of deep breathing... It's crazy. And having Sun Salutation, like, at the ready, it brings so much value. And this matchup is a very strange one because a lot of Joker's edge guarding tools become... I, I don't want to say they're, they, they fall out of play, but they do lose a lot of value because... Stock's going to want to hang around the ledge a lot with Wii Fit. He's yeah. going to be able to play from the ledge very effectively. Back throw? Wow, that yeah. is going to do it with... I believe he had the deep breathing. I can barely yes, he tell. he did. Yeah. Looks like it's out now. And uh, the header, that, that side B soccer ball, another great projectile hopping right over with the back air, but not enough to take out Stock Taker. Oh, man, that almost <laughs> took him out. You can hit the header back at Wii Fit. So right there, that was the side B hitting him back at a forward tilt. Very reminiscent of like a... Wolf-esque forward tilt at the edge there. Gets yeah, the normal angled forward tilt from Joker is super good, especially against Wefit because she's going to be sitting low in a lot of situations. Don't be surprised to see Stock Taker just duck to avoid something. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you, you can low silhouette a lot of things. But whenever header ball comes out, there's Ooh. a lot of merit to AI or guns just to keep it from being a method of... Uh, Aggressive zoning. Man, but when Arsene comes out and you're in disadvantage, that is the worst situation ever. Because usually you hit Arsene and... Oh, man, is this a stock? Yeah, yeah that's a stock. <laughs> Nothing you can do there. But because usually when Arsene pops up, you're hitting Joker because you're doing damage to him, and that's the fastest way to bring out the Arsene meter. It does also come out over time. So if it's, like, almost capped off, the worst... Because usually, like I said, you, you're the one in the advantage state, right? So you can, like, push that state... But man, when, when it comes out and you're the one off stage or you're the one on the ledge, it's so spooky. And look at Arsene's almost gonna come out again because of the Rebel's Guard. Between Wow. <laughs> but not in this stock, it's gonna geez. be Yeah, man. <laughs> this character is something. You can't even say the character's bad. You can't say the character is good. There's just so so much that's odd about the character, from the unconventional hitboxes to like a more abstract form of zoning than we usually see out of characters. Like you can't really just put Sun Salutation and the header ball out. Yeah. And you can't let him just deep breathing or else all of a sudden, all of those tilts are incredibly powerful. Like the Nair chains rack up so much damage so fast. Yeah, we fit is definitely a weird character in a sense where her back air out of shield is quicker than her shield grab. So when you shield pressure Wii Fit, you actually want to be in front of her, which is so weird because most of the time in just quote unquote Smash Brothers in general, you always usually want to cross up your opponent because they, they usually have a quicker option in front. But Wii Fit is the exact opposite. Can Tweaks seal out this stock with the Arsene here? A lot of things will do it. Forward tilt. Oh, He's, he's got to be careful though. Yo, it's back air scooping from below. That's going to give a solid 3-0 to Tweak as he moves on to winner.